Okay, still in chapter 4 here, going through some changes. Melting, particles vibrate so fast they break free. Vaporization, it's when they gain enough energy to move independently. Sublimation, particles of a solid do not pass through the liquid state when they form a gas. So they go straight from solid to gas, condensation, and freezing. And we've talked about a lot of these. I think important thing to note here, all of these are either absorbing or releasing energy. So they have to gain energy or release it in order for these things to happen. <coughs> Difference between crystalline and amorphous solids. Again, this was in the book, a part of your reading. Crystalline are made up of crystals, and you should be able to see that root word in there. Amorphous are not arranged in a regular pattern. They do not melt at a distinct temperature. So you have glass, plastic, and rubber as examples. Concept of viscosity depends on the size and shape of its particles and the attraction between its particles. Stronger the attraction, the slower it moves. So as you saw that previous slide, you can see a large difference. So if you think of water have, as having a low viscosity, pours very easily. And then if you're going to put honey add it to a recipe, you may wait a minute if that bottle is fairly low as it moves to the spout to add to your recipe. And then we've got all the changes of state here below and what they go between. So what they start as are over here on the left and what they finish as are over here on the right and then down the center is the type of change that it goes through the term. Okay, no one applied Charles' law and Boyle's law. Again, we've done quite a bit with this. I think the only thing to emphasize is that Charles' law, when one increases, the other increases. And you can see the picture here. And with Boyle's law, when one is increased, the other decreases. And again, we've got a picture down here. So as pressure increases, we push down the amount of space available shrinks and then you can see the temperature readings here and here and compare those as to how much space they end up with. Chapter 5. Now this is what we just took our quiz on Friday. Energy is the ability to do work or cause change. How to calculate power. Some of these formulas, we've already brought up density, but these other formulas that are listed on here, they will be uh, available on the screen. So you do not need to memorize these when we do power and we do kinetic energy. And kinetic energy is going to go here in the box. So I'm, we're going to do the first one together here. So our formula is one half, and I'm going to do the dog here. So the mass of the dog is 20. And then the speed, the velocity, is 2 meters per second, and we're going to square that. So I've got 1 half times 20 times 4. Continue to bring that down to 1 half times 80. And then my answer is 40 joules. And that's the correct unit for kinetic energy. So, I'm going to give you just a minute here, pause this, and go ahead and figure, using that same process, the mass that the girl has. So, pause it now and figure that out. Okay, check your answer here. You should have, for the girl, gotten 120 joules. So, hopefully you ended up with that. And then finally here, let's pause it again. The dog speeds up and is now running at a speed of 4 meters per second. So figure, if the dog's running faster, the kinetic energy. Pause it. Take a minute to answer that. Okay, and the dog, if with that increase, ends up at 160 joules. Types of energy here are all listed on the left-hand side. These definitions should be all in your notebook, in your glossary. So you can use that to help you understand which type of energy is which. Okay, calculating potential energy. Potential energy 
equals weight times height, mechanical, potential plus kinetic. Again, these will be on the screen. You do not need to memorize these. The only one you need to know for the test is density. How energy is transferred and what happens. We've talked about this a little bit. Conservation, law of conservation of energy, as you look below, also goes with it. But all forms of energy can be transferred to other forms of energy. And the amount of energy does not change. It just transfers to another form. And this goes into the definition that it can neither be created nor destroyed. Total energy is the same before and after any transformation. So we've got some videos again uh, that are on my big campus that you can take a look at that are, of course, very interesting. Okay, so you've got to apply the concepts of potential energy and kinetic energy to real-life situations. And we've talked about this in class. If this is the arc, whether it's a roller coaster, throwing a ball, whatever it is, potential energy maximum is going to be here, and kinetic is going to be here. So we've drawn these already. These should be in your textbook. You can also take a look at page 172 and 73 in your textbook. Okay, that finishes us out. Again, remember, even periods on the 19th, odd periods on the 20th.